we try to watch what's happening in, in the markets, whether it be in the physical market or the futures market or whatever, and change our strategy to um, accommodate what we see is the, the best avenue to go down in selling. We use a number of, of uh, strategies to uh, limit market risk. Uh, we use forward selling to, to a degree. Uh, we um, foster long-term uh, agreements with our, our buyers, uh, which whether they be feedlots or backgrounders, or even, even with our cull cows, um, we have uh, things in place that mean that when we have stock available, um, it's a phone call and you know exactly what you're going to get for them. We, we avoid using the, the sale yards as much as possible uh, because we, we get better outcomes uh, over, over the long term with direct uh, contact with our buyers. Probably the biggest benefit is that hitting those premium markets, your, uh, your cash flow is enhanced. You, uh, you make more dollars per kilo. And uh, that's the aim of the game for us. Um, we, we, like to, we like to maximise our income as much as we possibly can. The, um, the swing towards eating less red meat um, especially in our domestic market, will possibly in the, in the long term uh, limit the amount of beef that we, we can sell into the domestic market. But with the um, population in Southeast Asia and Asia um, becoming more affluent, or, or a bigger percentage of them becoming more affluent, they're looking to um, access hot, more high quality um, beef which Australia can can produce and while ever the world keeps getting more people in it they've got to be fed and that's that's where I see that our our um, upside in our markets are that, that the, the rest of the world is hungry for for um, protein and we can produce it pretty pretty well telling telling a lot of other producers how to how to how to, how to run their businesses is probably probably telling them how to suck eggs but uh, for all of us our, our major thing is to look after our country um, make sure you're managing to keep ground cover um, whether you whether you're a cell grazer an extensive grazer like we are using rotational grazing to to, ma to watch and manage your, your feed supply very carefully.